This is CNN Breaking News. Uh, this is CNN Breaking News right now. And uh, just to tell you uh, what we're hearing, the latest out of New York, the tri-state area, that an earthquake was felt in New York and the surrounding areas where we understand from uh, the U.S. Geological Survey in the last several minutes that they have initially measured the earthquake to be about 4.8. Now, Andrew Kaczynski, uh, our uh, investigative reporter, um, Andrew, uh, doesn't take any investigating to figure out what's going on here. What did you feel? Yeah, so I was in uh, my bedroom with my toddler, you know, as one does on a Friday, and we felt, uh, first I kind of thought I was going crazy because I looked and mirror was shaking, uh, you know, stuff was just moving around a little bit, never experienced an earthquake uh, before. And I was, yeah, I first thought I was going nuts a little bit, but then, you know, what I, what did I do immediately? Went on Twitter and saw about, you know, 3,000 other people tweeting that they asked me if they felt an earthquake too. Yeah. And Andrew, I mean, what did it feel like? How long did it last? Did, I mean, what, did it bother the toddler at all? I hope, uh, hope the little one's okay. Oh, yes, Jim, we have, we've survived uh, the New okay. York City earthquake. We're doing okay. Uh, my uh, toddler just jumping on the bed literally did not notice a thing. I think it maybe lasted, what, a few seconds around? Yeah, you know, a few seconds. Uh, and then we were just immediately like, what was that? Because we haven't experienced something like that before. Got it. And no damage. Nothing fell off a shelf or anything like that. Um, nothing fell off a shelf. No, I'm trying to look. No, everything looks in place. Got it. Okay. Hey, Andrew, thanks for calling in. Uh, you win the prize of the first reporter to be on uh, standby and ready for us. We appreciate it. Uh, let me go to Jason Carroll, uh, who's in New York. Uh, Jason, uh, Andrew beat you just by a smidge, but thank you for <laughs> jumping in there and helping us out here. Um, and I don't want to make light of it because I'm sure this worried uh, folks a little bit there for a few seconds. What happened? Were, were you in the bureau? Did you feel this? Tell us. Well, full disclosure, Jim, I'm from California. So first of all, I'm yeah. used to feeling earthquakes. Uh, I was on the 18th floor with my colleagues yeah. uh, at my computer and the computer monitor started moving just ever so slightly. And to be honest, I didn't have breakfast this morning and I thought, am I, am, am I lightheaded? Am I about to faint or something? And for a split second, I thought, are we having an earthquake? And, <laughs> and I thought, you know, this just cannot be. Walk out of my office, I see my colleague, Jean Caceres, and she says, I think we just had an earthquake. And then of course, all the producers started gathering around and it quickly became evident to us that we had experienced an earthquake here in New York City. Not the first wow. time, several years ago, I think you remember we had another slight earthquake in the New York City area. I remember feeling that. That's when we were over at a different location. Here, just to let your viewers know, we are at a place called Hudson, Hudson Yards. Right. It's on the very west side of New York City, right up against uh, the river there. We are on the 18th floor, and we could feel it. I mean, once again, it lasted for mm. several seconds. Again, I'm from California, so we are, yeah. people like us, we're accustomed to feeling things like this, not accustomed to feeling it in a place like New York City. So I had to sort of check myself and, and think, yes, this is an earthquake that we are experiencing. Uh, and I have to say, yeah, you know, and being Jason, from I mean, a 4.7 is not is not insin insignificant. I mean, that that you're going to feel that you definitely are going to feel that. I mean, again, when you're from a place like California, a magnitude 4.6, 4.7 isn't going to rattle nerves, if you will, but in yeah. a place like New York City, most definitely. All right, and uh, and Jason, I mean, how did how did folks around you react to this? I mean, I, you know, was it did everybody sort of have the same feeling at the same time? Like, oh my goodness, did we just have an earthquake? We did. A lot of us were, yeah. were, were second guessing ourselves. We were wondering, did we just experience that? And then obviously, as more and more people started coming out of their offices, we realized what we had experienced was, in fact, uh, an earthquake. Obviously, uh, in, in an unusual event to experience something like this yeah. in, in New York City. And when you're from California and you're used to earthquakes and you move to a city like New York, always in the back of your mind, you always wonder, I wonder what would happen if something like that happened here. Yeah. Now, of course, we don't have to wonder anymore. Absolutely. All right, Jason. Hey, thank you so much for being uh, ready for us. We appreciate it. 
Uh, I, I want to go to Laura Dolan, uh, one of our CNN producers out in Long Island. I, I feel like I'm getting to talk to all of my New York friends today, Andrew, Jason, and Laura. Uh, Laura, what did you feel? I think you're out on Long Island. Is that right? Yeah, I'm about 20 miles out from uh, the city, and when it first started, I thought it was a truck coming down one of the roads near us, like a heavy truck, and it just didn't stop. And it started small, and it got stronger and stronger to the point where I ran outside. I initially thought it might be my boiler or something crazy going on in my home, and when I ran outside, my other neighbors had also, uh, those of us who were home today, and we all thought the same thing. Maybe it was initially something with our home, and when we went outside, we all said, oh, my God, I think we just felt an earthquake. Slightly wow. relieved. It wasn't anything from my home. But then the bigger issue of, wow, that was a really strong earthquake. And like Jason just said, quite different from the one we felt about 10 years ago, I think, um, where it was just very quick. This one was noticeably stronger. And uh, our, homes, our homes were shaken. I was a little shaken, but I think my dog felt it was yeah. a little uh, more concerned than I was after the fact. I, yeah. I, bet, I bet it takes your breath away a little bit. And I, and I was just wondering, Laura, I mean, did anything fall off the shelves? Was there any damage? Uh, and forgive me for asking questions. People might say, oh, in California, we, you, you should come out here. But I, I, just curious, did anything fall off a shelf or anything? Nothing fell off the shelf. Things were shaking on my desk yeah. that I was working at. Um, you know, um, on the windowsills, things were shaking, but they didn't fall off the ground. And I, I did make a clip to my neighbor that, you know, welcome to L.A., but I'm sure they think this is nothing. So, uh, But for us, it was definitely something. This is not something yeah. we feel any day. I mean, this is, you know, growing up here, I'm, you know, a Gen Xer, as all my colleagues know. Um, right. To, to feel an earthquake at this point is pretty shocking for those of us who've lived here on the East Coast for, yeah. for a while. And I remember the one in, in D.C. about a decade or so ago, and you felt it and you knew exactly what it was, and I was at all places – uh, Mount Vernon when that happened and you could hear all the antiques inside George Washington's house shaking back and forth and so I mean it does kind of catch you by surprise and, and take your breath away a little bit and Laura I, you were just getting to the question I wanted to ask you next which is I know you're a lifelong New Yorker uh, I mean do you have you ever felt anything like this before in New York nothing not even close wow wow I mean, that shows you how, how rare this is. All right, Laura Dolan, uh, thank you so much for calling in. Again, I feel like I'm getting to thank talk you. to all my longtime friends in the New York Bureau, Jason and Laura and Andrew. Um, just want to update our viewers. Uh, the governor of New York, Kathy Hochul, uh, has tweeted about this. Uh, she is obviously going to be updating folks throughout the day. But she did tweet earlier that an earthquake did hit west of Manhattan, felt throughout New York. She says her team is assessing the impacts, any damage that may have occurred. We will update the public uh, throughout the day. And, of course, uh, to our viewers uh, who are watching all of this at home, if you happen to have caught some of this on video and your ring doorbell camera, uh, that sort of thing, feel free to email me or anybody here at, at CNN about this. Um, and I should also note, uh, just uh, on a lighter note, and I know an earthquake is a serious situation wherever it happens, but on a lighter note, the Empire State Building also tweeted, quote, I am fine. Uh, so that from the Empire State Building there and uh, the Empire State Building also saying we are business as usual at the Empire State Building. I want to go to Pete Montine, our aviation correspondent. Uh, Pete, uh, any flight interruptions at this point? I, obviously, this had to have been felt over at LaGuardia, JFK, perhaps over at Newark. And I have to think it, it shook people up at those airports as well. It seems like they've pared down on the ground stops here from the FAA. Here's the latest. There's a ground yeah. stop. Uh, at Newark Liberty International Airport, Big United Hub until 11.30 Eastern Time. Uh, in JFK until 11.30 Eastern Time. BWI and Philly now just deleted from that list. Also White Plains where there's commercial service in Teterboro, a big uh, hub for business jets and corporate aircraft coming into and out of the New York area. It is interesting though that this is already impacting air travel. It seems like flights are moving again at Newark, according to CNN producer Greg Wallace. Seems like things are starting to get back to normal. Here's the latest from FlightAware, the cancellations and delays relatively low. Uh, cancellations in the U.S. right now only 79, so double digits. Yeah. Delays in the U.S. 1,061. We could see that number go up, though, uh, if these uh, ground stops do stick. Of course, a lot of caution here, and we know that the FAA was on an operations planning call just a little bit ago uh, following this earthquake. 
Earthquake can't be felt in the air, of course, although it can be felt right. on the ground. Uh, and we know that uh, earthquakes have been felt in some major metro areas like the D.C. earthquake of 2011. Right. Uh, that wasn't all that far away from the uh, major airports of the D.C. area, Dulles, uh, BWI and uh, Reagan National. Uh, so we will see uh, if there is mm. any response here from the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, which operates those airports around the New York area uh, and whether or not there is any damage there on the ground.